Shalom. Call her law, you by Hashem, I was shy by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to my fellow laborers, the Akim. You know, the confusion of face Akim. To my brothers that labor in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. You know, to you I say Shalom. Um, this is your brother Malcolm from GMS Chicago. You know, um, and coming with you with another lesson. And basically, um, I came across, I read something last night about, you know, in the book of uh, Sirach, which was uh, uh, Sirach, the 45th chapter, read the whole chapter. And it's all about Israel returning to the land of Israel and the promise of the covenants and the mercy, which, you know, it's, it, it's clear when you read the Apocrypha uh, that it's all about Israel and that the other nations have nothing to do with the promise. The other nations will be blessed with by Israel, but be ruled over by Israel. So when Israel gets the dominion over the earth, when they get the dominion, that's when the other nations will be blessed because the other nations will actually live righteously and the lands will be, uh, you know, you know, full of full of milk and honey, you know, uh, for lack of a better term, for following the laws and those who don't will get swift judgment by the judges, which the judges of the earth, the priests of the earth, are the 12,000 um, of each tribe, the 144,000. The the, co the, the, uh, the government that Yahweh Shai is going to set up, who the world ignorantly calls uh, Christ. All right, He's going to set up King David, as is promised in the scriptures, and then the rest of the 144,000. King David is a part of the 144,000. He is the head of that. Okay? And he's going to be set up by who the world ignorantly calls Christ. And that's how the other nations are going to be ruled over. And this is a video um, that the brother Adama, from the head of uh, the Boston camp, put up. And I watched it. And, and you know, you how behold, first thing that I open up to really watch, you know, spiritually, well, actually the second one. Um, this brother went in on the subject of the, the book that I just read before I uh, went to sleep the night before. So without any further ado, let's uh, let a little of his video play. Well, normally we travel to different communities that are living here inside Israel, but this week is pretty special because it's a community largely living outside of the country, but they come here three times a year, so we met up with them for one of their rituals. They're called Beit Israel. You're going to have to just see it for yourself. Let's take a look. When the cabbage came, the cashew came. When the cabbage came, the cashew came. The children of Israel have found Mount Zion. Oh, Lord, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. Spread out. <clears throat> Shalom. Call Allah. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Bashim Rahak Wadash. And see, yeah, you know, the brother. You know, you could. You, I highly suggest that you go watch the video. You know, the, uh, <clears throat> this is a very, very uh, edifying video. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, and the name of it is uh, "The Lord Will Bring Back the uh, the the Will Bring Us Back to the Land of Israel When It Is Cleansed." And Up with the, the brother's right because it's going to happen. But it's not going to happen before. Now, I'm also looking at the video, and this brother is shaking his head. He shake his head back and forth. What the heck is he doing, man? All right? And he's got them long dreads, you know? These are uh, people who know that they're Israelites, but clearly, as I'm taking the arrow across them, don't really have a true understanding of the scriptures, man. All right? Because if they did, then they, they wouldn't be there. They would understand that they have to wait on the Lord. You just can't, you can't go and do that on your own, man. Now, I'm saying that, you know, if you got the money to go take a trip to Israel, you want to go, yeah, to go do it. But, you know, but but as far as taking your church and your camp, you know, back and forth to Israel or, or going back to that's you have to wait on the Lord to deliver us back. Thus save the Bible, man. All right. And that land does have to be cleansed first. And I'm going to read a scripture. And this is uh, this is the book of, uh, of Isaiah. Uh. Chapter 63, and I'm starting at verse 1 and read down to about verse 4, all right? And this in this particular part of the Bible, this is is this is being this is a future prophecy, which hasn't happened yet. 
And it's talking about who the world ignorantly calls Christ or, 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 or Jesus, all right? His, and whose name is Yahweh Shai, all right? And it reads, who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, that I speak mightily, that I speak righteousness, mighty to save, all right? So the Lord is going to visit every place where Basra is. And Basra is, is mainly talking about Esau, Edom. And it tells you in Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, the fifth verse, that the Holy Land was Edom appointed it into his hands. So who's going to be in the Holy Land when the Lord comes back? Edom. And why would you take your people over there so they could just be surrounded by the IDF and jailed or slaughtered? You know? The, when the Bible tells you that the Lord is going to go cleanse, cleanse that land, how is he going to do it? With fire. Pursuant to Isaiah 66 and 15, verses like 14 and 15. Um, but back in Isaiah 63, chapter 2, 63, verse 2. Well, for out thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth the wine vine. All right. The precept to that, one of the precepts in my Bible is written is Revelation uh, 19 and 8, 13. They put that scripture in there. OK. All right. And then, you know what? I wasn't going to that wasn't a plan, but I'm going to go and read it. It says, and he was and his and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of power. So this is talking about the Lord, man. He's going to be covered in blood. So why people think that he's just all love and everything's going to be OK. He's going to come back and just spread out his arms and hug the world. No, he's going to smite the world, man. Jeremiah 17 and 9. I pray for the world. I pray not for them, but unto them that were given unto thee. All right. Um, yeah. And so he's comparing the guts of grapes in a wine vat being stomped out to the to the body parts and innards of the people. All right. And it's and these people, the subject matter is Edom, the so-called white man who is Edom Esau. All right. Verse 3 in, in chapter uh, 63 of Isaiah says, I have trodden the wine press alone and of the people that was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment for the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeemed is come. Who is this redeemed? The Israelites and the Israelites are going to be redeemed to the to the land of, uh, uh, of Israel. With great violence from who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read, go back to uh, Revelation 19. And I'm going to start up, I think I read verse 13. We'll go back to there. And, uh, and go to verse 11. All right. And then read down to 13. All right. Actually to verse 14. Okay, because the Lord is coming with an exceedingly great army, man, with his chariots, all right, who, who are IFOs, identified flying objects. The world ignorantly calls them UFOs. That's why Donald Trump, DJ Trump, is, is, is getting ready to uh, have this, this, this draft and start recruiting people into his space army. He's trying to get a space corpse, all right? So now, now, so you're gonna have you're gonna have your your space marines like in the movie uh the second installation of the movie Alien. Except it's not aliens. They're 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 angels who are Israelites. Okay, remember the when the when John bowed down to the angel, the angel tell, told him, "Do it not, for I'm thy brother. You know, I'm thy fellow servant." Okay, Revelation 19 and 11, and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. He told he's going to make war, and he's going to trample the wine vat. He's going to trample Esau. He's going to he's going to stamp and trample them until their guts fly from their body, until it stains his clothes, his white robes with blood. He's going to be covered in blood, man. There's a scripture that says it's going to be so much blood it's going to come up to the horse's bridle, man. That's that thing that's in the horse's mouth. All right. That's a lot of blood, man. Okay? Verse 12. His eyes were a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had the name written that no man knew but himself. Alright? And he and, and he was clothed 
with the vestures dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of Power. All right, verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And best believe they're going to stay in their raiment too, man. Okay? Hey, so with that, man, you know, this was just, just a quick lesson because I'm actually going to do a part two to this and actually read, you know, uh, a, a, a chapter out of the Bible of what, what it's going to be like after the land gets cleansed, man. Because these, these guys right here are going off on the screen, man. And I don't wish any any uh, a harm on these brothers. My my wish is that these brothers uh, uh, wake up and 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 you know continue to push Israel, but do it according to the scriptures and not according to their own heart, man. So with that, you know, all praises going honor be unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, Wa Abba Babal.